Jumps and Jays West Coast and as they take on the Lakers at the Staples Center. Lakers throwing it back to their Minnesota roots as they rock the baby blue uniforms. Lonzo Ball getting things started with the Lakers with a three. Harkless comes back here with a three of his own giving the Jays the early lead in the first quarter. Over the past few nights, Jays have had a major problem giving up points in the paint and it continued the night with Brooke Lopez as he had a monster night. However, on the flip side, guard play for the Jays has been progressing. Moutier knocks down the three. Offense has been flowing better. Moutier, Burke, and Deli all contributing to that factor. Later on in the second quarter, Jays doing what they do best. Deli out in transition, giving the ball off to Stevenson as he slams it home. Huge slam from Stevenson. Unfortunately, those would be his only points of the night as Harkless closes out the second quarter with a three. He has just been on fire. Second half now, Ball started out slow. Let's hear his approach to the second half. I uh, just came out more aggressive, you know. Anytime you get a second chance at something, you know, you're going to be better at it. You know, last game I shot six shots. That didn't work out too well, so <laughs> figured I'd try something else. Ball had six points in the first half, ended up with 20 points on the night as the Lakers continued to pound the ball down low, taking advantage of the Jays' small backcourt. However, Jays on the comeback trail. Danny Green with a nice drive here. The scoop in the bucket, cutting it to eight. Then Trey Burke, after getting a stop on the assuming possession, a deep three, but he was not done yet. Jays out in transition. Burke pulls up to tie this game up 100 to 100 with five minutes to go. Burke driving baseline here, kicking it out to an open Patrick Patterson for three. Jays up three at this point with three minutes to go. However, Brooke Lopez on the low block misses his first shot attempt, gets his own rebound, and puts it in. He was a monster tonight on the boards. And then Lonto Ball, the rookie, wide open for three, gives the Lakers a one-point advantage with 27 seconds left. Trey Burke on the assuming possession drives lane, but Brooke Lopez says not in my house. As he blocks Trey Burke, Jays force the foul. Ball knocks down both free throws. On the last play of the game, 10 seconds to go, Trey Burr kicks it out. Good luck for Danny Green, but it does not fall. Lakers get the rebound. Jays force the foul. Lakers prevail 115 to 110. Harkless with 27 points on the night. Brooke Lopez led the way for the Lakers with 27 points as well with 14 rebounds. Look out, Laker fans. You're undefeated in your first two games. Jays back in action against the Celtics on October 23rd at 7.30.